everyone, it's Miss Brown. I'm so happy I get to record this video of me reading a book to you guys and it allows me to be a part of the classroom even though I'm not actually there. So thank you Miss Taylor for letting me do this. So hi Miss C, hi Miss Taylor, and hi everyone. I want you to know how much I miss you and I can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. So today I chose a book that you guys all celebrated last week. Anyone guess the author that you celebrated last week? Dr. Seuss. So today I'm going to be reading to you the story called What Pet Should I Get? by Dr. Seuss. And here we have a little boy. The little boy can't choose between getting a bird, a fish, a dog, or a cat. Now there's more than one character in this story and we'll find out how many they are very soon. We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands. So we shook. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat and she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot have two. Do you think they'll go with Kay's choice, the cat, or with his choice, the dog? Hmm. Let's see. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now, how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten. They looked like good fun. Now, which would we pick? We could only pick one. The cat or the dog? The kitten or the pup? Oh boy, it is something to make a mind up. And here's a little banner that says, make up your mind. Then I looked all around. I saw something with two wings. I said, look at him. But when we can pick one that sings, but then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. Oh boy, so now they went between the dog, the kitten, the bird, or the rabbit. I think it's a bad idea looking around the pet store. What do you guys think? There's so many choices. They couldn't choose between a dog or a kitten, and now there's so much more to choose from. What will they get? Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know Mother told us to be back home by noon. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said, what pet should we get? But, you know what Kay did. Do you know what she did? She said, fish, fish, fish. I may be a fish is a pet that we wish. Then, I saw a new kind, and they were good too. 
How can I pick just one? Now, what should we do? We could pick one. That is what my dad said. But how could I make up the mind in my head? Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly round my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but... Our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So, maybe some other good kind of pet, another kind maybe, is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall, a tall pet who fits in a small space. My mother might like this pet best of them all. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent. He would pay for a tent. So, you see how it is? When you pick out a pet, how can you make up your mind on what you should get? But... What if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our house would be full of the pets we would get. No, Dad would be very mad. We could only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up my mind that is up in my head. The dog, or the rabbit, the fish, or the cat, hmm, I pick one out fast, and then that was that. What pet do you think he picked out? Hmm. Go ahead and take a guess, because that's the end of the story. Could it be the fish? Hmm, I think the fish would need some water. Could it be the bunny? Or the bird? Or a dog? Or the cat? Hmm. Well, guys, that's the end of the story. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your day and allowing me to read the story to you guys. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.